Alright, cool. So, um... I've been thinking about this kind of lately, where, um... Well, not lately, I think this is something that, like, I've noticed, and, um... As, like, I'll say, like, a bunch of times, like, I think a lot of truth is, um, foundational, but... Yeah, it's a lot, it's foundational, right? So, when I talk about things like, um, like a bunch of like, like paradoxes or whatever that are um, very truthful, I think like, when you realize how true they become and like you continue to like, move in that direction, it's, helpful to understand why it is that like I get like that I, want, I do want to talk about this sort of stuff right where it's not just like oh this is like cool like this is just like how people like respond or act right where they um and most people understand things to be this way it's just like they don't really like I put it into I try to put it into words because I think it's important to understand what that means rather than just like assume you know what it means and then when it gets to a point where you have to interact with it on the outside or you just like it's not like or maybe it's going on within you or something like that you're kind of acting a certain way then you understand it a little bit more and it's not something you react negatively to right it's not something you you, you don't think you understand it's something that like everybody <clears throat> everybody's aware of but <laughs> and then I'm they're never gonna respond to me. But um the reason most people yeah the reason most people I think don't react well to it and um is because they just don't they they never say it out loud, they never realize it. And I'm and again I'm talking about the paradoxes like of life and I think there are probably some categories that like I'm just not aware of that like are on the internet somewhere. Um that like cover pretty much every situation that I could like name and I don't have to go into all these details but like because I'm like ignorant in this area and I'm sure it's some sort of like somebody's already everybody's already figured this crap out it's um for lack of my knowledge I'm just gonna have to like go off of what like I know right but um yeah like to me I I think I was I've always been a very patient person sort of a thing where I don't agree with people for the most part on a lot of things people don't necessarily piss me off because like i don't think it's like like i think most people when they're wrong i just don't think they get it and it's a very patronizing position to take you know because if you're silent and you think you know something that the other person doesn't know and you let them just like rail off it's pretty patronizing to just kind of sit there and let them um pop off about some sort of thing right but um it's more when I let them when, let that person speak about whatever it is that they need to speak about, right? Whether it's politics, whether it's religion, blah, 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 blah. It's usually they say they say something wrong. And it's more like when you're playing like defense in a sport, like my friend sp said this one time, and I always say my friend, but it's the same person, right? He said he usually waits for somebody to make a move and because they're going to make a move, like when they make a move, they usually make a mistake. And if that's not what he said exactly, I don't care. I'm gonna claim that for my own. It's like a lot of like defense is that. It's like yes, you can go after it. And that's very important, right? It's a very important like thing to build up. It's a very very important skill to understand. Like it's it's a very important skill skill to hone and then use appropriately. Um, but then there's a lot. There's also a lot of like waiting and waiting for the mistakes because a lot of people say things that are just true, but it's just they're not quite complete like they have these thoughts and these ideas that have all these steps and exact seems the right word probably not they have all these steps that they want to take and they say these things and then you can see where they went wrong right like this one thing but then the rest of it's fine 
And then when you criticize this one thing, they think you're criticizing the whole thing and it falls apart. It's like, no, all this is fine. I think so. But then this part, it's pretty stupid. Like this part, this part, this is where you went wrong. So I think, so that's why it's important for people to speak clear. I'm spitting everywhere. That's why it's important for people to speak clearly when they're saying something. When they have a point to make, it's important for you to say everything you mean. Even if you, if you, even if you're going to sound stupid. And more often than not, you're probably going to say a bunch of stuff that's true. But then you... You're gonna when you go wrong on something, it's important to like know. Um, I, I would say it's important to know where you went wrong, but just acknowledge that there's some places where you could go wrong or whatever. And um, I, I'm gonna get to the paradoxes thing. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. This is why I like because it doesn't make, it doesn't give me like have people interrupt me. I can always like hopefully bring it back full circle. Um, but yeah, it's. I was kind of talking about like myself, right? Where like I don't necessarily like when when I disagree with people, um, I've seen it get to a point where it's like I don't understand why people let it get to a certain point, and I get that it's important to speak the truth and tell people where they went wrong because it's harmful if you don't. Um, but it's. I try to do it in a context where I think it's like appropriate so I don't find um, in debates to be that fruitful people always just say crap that pisses me off and um, I say crap apparently that pisses them off and it just it doesn't go anywhere and then and even if you try to debate people they just act like all stupid about it they're just like oh you know like i don't like i it's just you know what i mean like they don't want to so it's like I, I i love the idea of like debating people but it's just like people don't do well with it it's 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 in it's an incredible it's it's incredible to watch people not do well with like taking criticism and then also being able to give it back and it doesn't i don't care if it's like you're an asshole about it like i don't give a shit if you make your point if your point makes sense it makes sense people but and if you feel like what they said was true why are you all butthurt about it like even if they said it in a very like derogatory manner or a very patronizing manner you're stupid you were wrong you were wrong on what you were saying um that's why it's important for you to speak clearly so that when people attack you or pe att attack your arguments even your character too be be clear in who you are they're attacking who you are rather than like your projection sort of a thing and uh, that's often like what I don't like about engaging in like, conversations with people who haven't honed that ability. And I, I, I do take it for granted. I, I think I assume most people aren't good at that sort of thing. But it's just from what it's just I usually get that understanding when I hear them speak about things they don't agree with in confidence. Like when they think nobody when they think everybody around them agrees with it. And it doesn't have to be anything like particularly like like people usually think politics immediately like politics or religion or etc it doesn't have to be that shit it can just be about like how they feel about like their family or something like that like oh moms are terrible they shouldn't like blah 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 etc they shouldn't be able to like i don't know track you i've heard people, some mothers do that or whatever and they speak very terribly about these things and i get that vibe when like the very unforgiving people and very brutal and will um brutal in their thoughts like nothing like usually not much comes out of what they think and then like breeze out in the world but some people can get a hold of you in like the professional sense where they can like sabotage you with that and i don't think most people do that but from the way they speak it's like people don't realize how strongly they feel about something or they do and they just don't they just want to feel comfortable with that, or they feel very comfortable with the radical, with like how radical they want to, uh, how radical they feel towards people who they disagree with. Dude, I'm spitting everywhere. You guys, you guys are seeing that, right? And people talk about this with like the Crusades or whatever, with like the Catholic Church or like burning heretics. I don't know if they burned heretics, but they killed people that like there were people that were killed because they didn't agree with the church or something like that. And people always talk mad shit about that, like when they speak about the Catholic Church, and yeah. Like, I'm sure that's true. Maybe it's not as accurate as, like, people make it seem. But let's say they did. Let's say they did it to at least one person in the last 2,000 years. 
It's like people don't think people don't, either that or they don't realize like how how similar they sound to like the people that made those decisions. Like you don't you don't say the exact same words, but you you speak with the same passion, and it's you you, you feel the same way towards your adversaries adversaries as they did, and it's just so that that was my hope. that was like a really long spiel on why I don't really debate with people about things, but I want to get to the par the paradoxes thing where um. It's like extremes are kind of, um, they make a lot of sense. Like now extremes, like paradoxes, things that seem opposite, like make a lot of sense, right? And why I guess it needs to be a balance, a yin and yang crap or whatever. But it's more just like you realize, if you don't realize that, right? And I wouldn't use yin and yang, like that just, that just like what came to my head. It's just, if you don't realize that, then it's like, People get all, people misunderstand why people do certain things or why they themselves feel certain ways about certain things in certain situations, right? Where people think they're very logical or whatever. But then, you know, like, they think people that are emotional aren't, like, I I'm, I wouldn't say I'm super, like, um, either one or the other. I'm just kind of, like, in the middle or whatever. But, like, people that are super logical and then people that are super emotional. Um, they, they see each other as, like, stupid or one sees each other as like below the other or whatever that sort of thing like one is less useful and um the, the problem with like that and the problem with other sort of extremes where it's um i'm trying to think of more more extremes like i know i had some on my head like on my mind where um i'll think of something hopefully but the problem with like going to one or the other is you end up if, well, isolation isn't that bad people think isolation is like terrible but it's not that bad like sometimes it's just what it is right you can feel isolated as a person and that that can be a time for a time of growth for people but being it, it, it can lead to isolation but it can also lead to a complete underdevelopment of being able to handle those sorts of moments in your life where you become super emotional because I don't know somebody or it's just you don't become emotional and it's like you feel fine about that right and people can't tell the difference between if it's like a good thing that they didn't that they don't like feel certain ways about things or it's like because like oh I shouldn't have like resort myself to that or it's a bad thing because it makes them feel a little less human it doesn't make you less human it just makes you it just it does it definitely limits your experience and if you think no it's because and you can say it doesn't you can say it doesn't limit your experience if you've experienced if you if you're understanding if you understand what it's like to be super emotional because like i don't really understand it what it's like to be super emotional about something um when you're like usually more like logical or whatever i guess that people call themselves um like level-headed and you understand what it's like to be like that you choose not to because it's just not healthy for you that's fair that's a fair idea or that's a fair like assessment to make but it's more people choose certain sides despite not having ever explored the other side it's just basic foundations that people just don't build right just as like with basketball, as much as you need to shoot three pointers, you need to make layups, right? And experience isn't everything. This is kind of something I got from somebody else that I watched a long time, a couple weeks ago on YouTube. Experience, experience isn't everything. You don't need to like go through a death to understand what it means to feel super emotional about something or whatever. But you do need to understand it, you know? There's a way to internalize certain ideas, certain concepts without having to go through them, right? It's just, you understand, because like, it's just, it's more like secondhand experience sort of a thing, where you don't necessarily have, you don't, you never had to have touched a stove to understand like it hurts or whatever. And then you need to be extremely cautious around it. But at the same time, you need to understand that you need to be around it to be able to make food sort of a thing for yourself. Um, but to not touch it, it's like, you understand you don't do that because 
of other painful experiences. Somebody told you this is somebody told you like, oh, this is painful. I'm touching the stove, but then you've experienced other pains, and you you can kind of connect it through that. It's more like the sympathetic per perspective on it, where you just you didn't have to go through it, but your understanding of the situation is valuable, and it, it like works, right? You, you you get it, sort of a thing. So you don't, yeah, like I said, you didn't have you don't have to experience certain like emotions or whatever to be considered like an emotion to have emotional like intelligence or whatever and um but when you have that you, you you understand that it's important to hold on to that sort of thing and use it and experience it when it's appropriate sort of a thing right so you can it's not like you can deploy it when you need to but you can, when you experience it you understand how to navigate it rather than it pulling you in certain directions and i think that's the situation people often find themselves in where they find themselves on either extreme where they're like i keep using the logical and the ex emotional thing that's the only thing i can think of right now where people only find themselves good at being like super logical and they're revered for it it's very necessary for like certain like endeavors but they they lack certain like depth in their life right maybe they did maybe they found like and i'm not saying just romantic i'm not saying romantically or relationally it's just certain there's because other because it's just I mean, people also think comparison to other people is not a good thing but i think it's a pretty good thing too like we do it naturally and it's necessary as well so because other people value it so heavily and it's not that they value but it's just an intrinsic if you see it they think it, they see it as an intrinsic realization or experience or um, part of life rather than like something you pull off the shelf it's just it's a part of life it makes sense it just makes sense to so many people right it's not something that was brought into society it's not something that was created it's something that's just it's it's there from you you may even remember when you were a child that you experienced this a little bit more um and then you lost it because of maybe you you have ideas as to why you lost that sort of thing right but it's important what am i trying to say you understand because other people have it and value it in the sense right that it's necessary for you it's not necessary. yeah well it's helpful for you to live a more fulfilled life and if you don't want a more fulfilled life most some people don't want it but it's it's objectively true that you're missing out on a certain part of life and people also don't like that statement where they where somebody says you're missing out and people say well no I'm not that's not true i feel complete no like, it doesn't matter if you feel complete or if you see your life as complete. If it's not complete, who gives a shit? And that's kind of more of, like, the logical perspective. It's objectively not true that if you don't have, like, certain... If you don't have both experiences, both opposite ends where it's logical and then also emotional or whatever, and you can apply this to any other experience or, like, extreme, in your, extreme situation in your life. If you don't know how to, like, navigate that or... use it like when when it's when it, when it, when the time calls for it and you're like you know if, if you show up to a funeral or some show up to a loved one's death like a funeral or whatever and you don't feel anything it doesn't make you like a, it doesn't make you a bad person but it just limits you it, it's you understand that there's a certain limitation that you have and that it's okay to live this way but it, you are missing out and i feel that way sometimes about these things because i'm not super like i said i'm not super emotional it's like I don't get worked up about these sorts of things. And I feel that way about things sometimes. Like, where it's just like, I can't feel what I expect, what I see other people feel, right? And it's not, and it's obvious that it's not something that they created in their minds or it's something that they grabbed from like a different culture. It's something just in them. It just makes sense to them that you just to mourn in this way. I mean, children do it naturally right well, it's gone it's gone you know it's that sense of loss where 
and it's where where is that in certain people like they can't experience it in the same way that other people maybe they need maybe it's a higher threshold or maybe it's just not there and like i said it's fine to have that because like i have that for a lot of things and other people have tolerances that are that have been built up but those are usually artificial those are usually just through habituation or through experience they just kind of gotten used to it but you can't i can't help but think that when that happens i'm missing out that there's a certain part of life that i'm missing out on and objectively it would be worth my time trying to figure out how to hone that or understand where how i can tap into that sort of thing because it would serve me right ignorance is bliss right? it's an important i think statement to make and to understand an important important statement to understand in that I, I'm okay with not having that. But I understand that I'm missing out. Like, I get it. Because there's some things I have that don't people don't, other people just don't get yet. They just don't understand. Like, patience. I have a lot of patience. Like, these videos are very, like, monotonous and drawn out and sort of a thing. And it's just, like, it's 20 minutes has passed. And it's just like, okay, well, like, here it is. Like, I'm here at this point. And I have that sort of, like, patience and, like not openness i think i'm more open than most, most people think i am but like a little bit more paid because i'm patient i have more of an opportunity to experience conversion right and more often than not it's not always the right kind of conversion but that's like an open-mindedness like i have that sort of quality within me that a lot of people just lack they're just very like quick to say no no i've already experienced this concept in life this person this idea i'm shutting it down forever until for some reason something in life that i i i value highly opens me to accepting this thing that i've rejected so hard um so quickly but i i don't have it like it, it doesn't take it doesn't take interdependence or in, yeah intercession for like me to be open to certain ideas about things i can hear people and i can tell you no well that's wrong and i can be quick about telling you that's wrong but i can also think some of it some of it's right but i don't always give people that option to know that they're right about certain things because they need to go and re-examine why they won't why 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 they went why they went wrong in certain areas and I, it's not my job to be like a teacher about um certain topics but people don't always learn and i don't always learn just by being told things like some things just go in one ear at the other so i find it more valuable to tell them you're wrong about this thing and i don't know how i ended up at this point of what i'm saying but yeah there's just some things in life that's like seem irreconcilable but need to be within a person to fully experience what it is to live deuces